You know, Dr. Collins came here a while back and he started the Swords Up thing and it's been a real hit across campus. Swords Up! Swords Up! Swords Up! Swords Up! <laughs> Swords Up. Swords Up and God bless. Swords Up! Swords Up! Sometimes they can catch you off guard. Swords Up has been great. Our kids have really bought into the enthusiasm and the excitement around our campus. Got to score. Got to score. Got to score. Big play offense. Here we go. Let's go. Big play. Omaha. Omaha. Swords Up. Swords Up. What the? What the heck? Got to cover him. Got to cover him. Taylor, what the heck? There's got to be a time and a place for Swords Up. Saturday mornings are a little rough. Students just love it when he does Swords Up. Swords Up! You guys rock! It's really a beautiful distraction. Swords Up, Cav Nation, Swords Up! In this pandemic world, we begin anew on a mission that never stops. For an education, as you know, we must be calm and carry on. As we begin the building of Walsh 4.0, I think it's useful to recall that we are standing on the shoulders of others that came before us and turned their challenges into our opportunities. This is our moment to do the same for those that will follow us. Walsh University is a special place, and it is a special place because of each one of you. You are students who, with your intellectual curiosity and your wonder and awe, fuel our campus. You are coaches and our faculty and our staff that help our students to stay centered on their preparation for their life's purpose. You are parents and our guardians and our families and our friends that keep us grounded always in the continuing effort to find the common good. And you are a community that remind us every day just how important our mission is. Together, all of you model for others what it means to serve rather than to be served. The Brothers of Christian Instruction came here in Stark County and built a Catholic institution of higher learning a place that would call others to conversion in their transformation as leaders for others. As I've reflected throughout this anniversary year on our history, I've thought deeply about this motto that our brothers have left for us, God gives the increase. And it strikes me that this is an expression of faith, of deep faith, faith in God and faith in each other. You know, Brother Thomas Farrell, Walsh University's first president, a trained educator and a man known to have his life deeply rooted in prayer. I actually think he said it best. An institution of higher education is great by the quality of the student it produces. Together, let us create this Christian house of intellect that'll be blessed by the increase that only God can give. So as we start this year, I ask that we first begin with a deep sense of gratitude. Thankful for what we have and thankful for each other. But I think it's equally important that we have a deep and abiding sense of humility, 
that as we seek to understand how important what we do is and just how good we are, that we ensure that we set aside all forms of pride because we know how easily that can actually blind us to the real capacity to transform hearts and minds of each one of our students. You know, if you think back to American history, perhaps your own experience learning American history, you're likely to remember learning about Daniel Webster. He was a 19th century lawyer known to have served in the House of Representatives. He served as a senator and he served not one, not two, but three presidents as Secretary of the State. He took on a case for 20 bucks and it turned out to be a lot tougher than what he thought it would be. In fact, he had to travel from Upper New England all the way to Boston doing research for the case that cost more than the $20 he was paid for his whole effort. But he was determined to stick with it and he did and he won the case. A small case, but with a very big victory. For you see, decades later, a company approached him and asked him to take on their case that he found remarkably similar. And so he accepted that case and he won it. I think this offers for us one of the great truths that there is nothing lost in God's economy. He uses all of our efforts if they're generated with goodwill and a generous and a faithful heart. Sometimes the rewards are immediate, other times, not so much. In fact, it could be a lifetime until the rewards are seen, but the reward does come. What the brothers have done here in building Walsh 1.0 is proof positive of an important lesson for all of us as we begin the new academic year. Let's be great with those little things. So as we wind down this anniversary year and this year of devotion to St. Joseph, we pray for his continued intercession for the entire Walsh University family, that we can be true to our own vocations as we seek the truth of the gospel. Our Lady Seat of Wisdom, Our Lady of Guadalupe, Our Lady of Good Hope, Our Lady of Chenstoza, Our Lady of Perpetual Help, pray for us. Swords up! <laughs>